Hey there, Wii U players. I'm here on the Wii U with the enormous gamepad. Dropping into Gum and Clive HD Collection. I'm going to press on Gum and Clive 2. And we're going to find out what that's all about. Gum and Clive is currently available for free in my Nintendo by trading in coins that you've earned when you purchase uh, physical and digital games for your Nintendo consoles. Okay, empty. Oh, so bleak looking. Empty it is. Gentleman Clive. Miss Johnson. Chief Tane Bob. Question mark. Ooh. Hope question mark's another cutie. So we do have uh, Miss Johnson. We'll do difficulty normal. So she's back. And um, it's purple this time. This giant robot thing has crushed stuff, and it's leaving a trail of destruction in its place. Okay, immediately I recognize this gameplay from the first Gum and Clive. So they haven't strayed as far from that as they could have, and I, I didn't think that they would. But uh, right off the bat, they're trying to show us that there's new color, and there's more animation. We have a fire going on here. We have... Oh! Um... The actual level itself is manipulating itself as we play. The, oh, the flying saliva bombing penguin is back. I still can't shoot up or diagonal, just straight, which frustrates me. I feel like this game could be so much more. You know, a conscious dial metal slug, middle slug style. Um, Sunset Riders style shooter. Oh, look at him. He went flying as the level collapsed. That's pretty cool. But it is what it is. And again, it's a very, very, very cheap game. Three, four bucks. Alright, that's a new enemy right off the bat. And the ground itself is, is earthquaking in. I want to see some checkpoints. That's what was missing in the last game. I'd like to see it here. What the heck? Really? Oh, no. mm, it tricked me. Did you see some of the missiles launch upward and then fall? Others... Yeah. And it made me start all over again, which is something I'm not a fan of in this Gunman Clive series. I do not like having to play a difficult platform game, succeed, and then have to replay because I failed a certain spot, you know, ten hard spots later. Like the original game, I don't know if there's any benefit to killing everybody at all, or if it's all just about survival, and I should just be... Ooh, birthday cake, moving along. I was hoping for her animation to improve. She still does this little foot shuffle thing. I think it's supposed to be a little haha -ha because she's wearing her little dress, but I would have liked them to maybe offer her a different outfit, or um, a choice of outfits. When he shoots up, you have to duck under. When he shoots straight, you jump over. There's the first stage. There's the first stage. Oh, right off the bat, this new guy comes running at me. We are in the mine. Don't know what's going on here. Let's find out. Spider, that's a new enemy. Too bad she can't figure out how to articulate her arms and shoot upward at them. That makes this uh, artificially difficult. We have a new swing. Very cool. <laughs> I think the knockback from being hit by that cocktail was less than the last game, but don't quote me on that. Got him on the way up. He's slower on the way up, so... Does she still have her flow? I mean, of course she does, right? Yeah, she does. And there's the spread shot, so nice. Right off the bat, I can tell you there's, I mean, there's, you can see there's more animation. There's more gameplay variety quickly. Um, these levels have a lot more, uh, these levels have a lot more going on, a lot more animation, a lot more interaction happening. 
right away, like right off the bat from stage one. So that's pretty cool. We got the swing. We had the collapsing town itself. We've got this little... Um, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, thing I was on before, where I died. You do have to take your time a bit and time certain things. Especially when there's bad guys because of the way they knock you back. You see, I was able to hit him before he even came on screen. If I rushed in, I wouldn't have done that. This is maddening that you, you can't fire anywhere but straight. I don't understand that mechanics decision. He shoots two shots at a time, and that's it. So that's good to know. Here we go. There is birthday cake, which going after could actually cost you your life. So I'm not sure it's worth going after that birthday cake, but it is a full full recovery. There's a new gun. That sh Did that thing just shoot me? It did. It sure doesn't look like a gun. But I got my full birthday cake. Kind of at its mercy, aren't you? Watch the bat, watch the bat. Up I go. Alright. Good news is the bad guys don't know how to use their elbows and shoulders either. They can only shoot straight, just like us. Oh, this thing moves in such an awkward manner. I don't mind taking hits, but I don't like the knockback. It Kind of causes artificial death. Whoa, she barely makes that jump. That's the second stage. Let's do one more. I'm liking the color here. I like that they're mixing things up. That's oil. Can I set fire to it? Can I ride it? I can. Very creative. Digging the color. Oh boy. This is a much more competent platformer than uh, than the first one. Although I don't think I like it all that much more because it's also harder. But, you know, it's a small game. It only costs a few bucks. You, you don't want to plow through it instantly. There would be no point, so... I can't hold it against it too terribly. Just don't know if it's for me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What am I M&M &M now? All right. Um. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yep. Mm hmm. One, two, three. I made that jump. It's all about taking your time. This thing's a pain in the ass because you want to catch it on the way up, but not too high up. Because you saw before I got stuck, I was unable to get back up <laughs> by missing up. Guy. Yep, yep, you're dead. No, 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 no. You're all cheap shoddy on me. Who's that? Some kind of new enemy, an afro guy. Oh, well, that's what I wanted. I wanted a rolling spike ball on my platforms. Nice. Oh, I'm so screwed, aren't I? I <laughs> knew it. Don't make me start the whole level over. You see? That's where this is, this is stupid. It wants you to do the whole level in one shot, and I, I don't see the point. Because you know what's going to happen now? Now I'm going to rush because I don't feel like replaying it. And then because you're going to rush, you're going to fail. So you have to not rush so you don't fail. But then you're not having any fun because you just played this whole level like like 5,000 times. It's actually kind of small. I mean, I'm almost back already now that I think about it. Afro guy. Killed him. I, I can kill him, but what's the point? Again, there's no score. He gets a cocktail off no matter what you do, so be careful. Uh, this is interesting. I rushed this before. You want to get on it, like, as soon as it gets going. That way you have plenty of time. Alright, he drops a bomb made out of saliva. Or maybe he's got bird poop in his mouth. I don't really know what's supposed to happen there. A little bit of cake. A little bit of cake. I walked right through him. So there's the first three stages of Gunman Clive 2. Oh. What is that? It's our first end boss already. I do need to get higher because I have to hit his weapon. Right? 
He's gonna have random, completely un unfigure outable patterns like the first game. Alright, I'll beat him for you guys, but only if I can do it in a reasonable amount of time. Did I live? I did. Though I died. This is stupid. He's about to trap me. Oh, he didn't. Oh, uh, but he shot me. She needs a little piece of birthday cake right there is what she needs. Yeah, we get it. You have a big gun. I don't know why you even exist, but you do. You can only eat... You can only get hit up there. This guy moves a little too fast for me. He backs off, but then he takes a shot at you, which is really lame. And he's gonna leave me trapped again in this corner. Look. Will stop me? Not a pleasant boss battle. Can't see him. He could be anywhere. He's actually pretty hurt. He's actually pretty hurt, as am I. just fell off my glasses. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, I don't want to fight him again. I don't even remotely want to fight him again. It's not going to be like, congratulations, you've defeated your first M-Boss. It's just going to say, stage clear. She walks as if she was a giant, clunky robot like him. I mean, she doesn't control any better than he does. And there's a glitch right there. I'm trying to squeeze in some extra shots here. died there, really? I mean, he's pretty dumb. Having just failed about ten times. He's pretty dumb. But, I mean, that blast is so big. It gets you in ways it really shouldn't get you. As you can see, that, I mean, I don't know how to avoid it other than to maybe even actually get closer to him. What a terrible emboss. Worse than the first levels. The first games that we played. Here comes the thing. There's no way to avoid that. I would have to, like, get under it get closer to him, but he's so... He shoots it just so quickly, there's no way to... You know? I don't think I could've gotten close enough, because I can't get far enough. It's funny, because I should be able to beat him pretty easily, because he's... really not doing much of anything, and he keeps trapping himself... against the... Let's see, how was I supposed to stop that? Couldn't even see it coming. Horrible, horrible boss. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Right here he gets, he doesn't go any closer, which is hilarious. He's gonna stomp, but he can't hit me. See? 
Here come missiles. More missiles. But by the time he shoots that big thing, I need to get right here. Alright, that worked. Now here he goes. He won't be able to hit me, apparently. Missiles. Bombs. Bombs. Alright. Alright, you win. I made it. He's stuck again. He can't get any closer to me. He's gonna stomp. Still can't get close to me. Now you know he's gonna shoot two, and then he's gonna the big one. So he actually has a pattern, apparently. Oh, he did. No, he just blew his pattern. He just totally abandoned his pattern. Mm, sort of. He's toast. We got this. He's done. Done. Goodbye. Oh, he turns into a chopper and flies away. I didn't see that coming. That's really cool. So we'll fight him again later on. She is getting into an airplane and flying away. Are we gonna... What? What? Didn't see this coming. Kudos. Kudos. Nice job, guys. Didn't see this coming at all. Alright, he's gone, so we're not going to be dealing with him until another time. So for now, we're just playing this little flying level, which, uh, you know, it's a totally different type of game than a 2D platformer, so this really could have worked out badly, but they've created a, you know, playable little level here with obstacles and things to shoot, and it runs really well. It's very smooth. I'm impressed. It's no small feat to... Uh, did I rescue him? Is that what happened? No small feat to create a mini game that plays entirely different than the main game. Again, you can see all these guys, but there's no score. It's not keeping track of how many I shoot when I finish the level. I don't think there'll be any bonuses to tell me how I did. And that's what really holds this game down to me. That was fun. And now we've got a snow level with snow-related creatures like this owl here. And... Oh, we have ice. He is he is climbing up. He's got his little pick there. Really cool. He should probably use some kind of... He's throwing bombs at me. He should probably use some kind of a device to... Like a carabiner on a rope to not die. That would probably be helpful to him. Um, yes, if you have noticed, I am slipping on the level. And that guy's riding a moose. And that guy was in some kind of a dog cart. Look. Except instead of dogs pulling it, it's just people. Well, this is slippery and I hate it. Yeah, I don't know. It's a very official. Um, Gum and Clyde 2 is much better than Gum and Clyde 1. They did a great job. Um, I'd like to see a third because I still think there's more potential in this game. But, look. Oh, drawbridge! There you go. Each stage is kind of progressing on the last a little bit. Look. Oh, my. Upside down. Just as I was saying that, they bring in a new mechanic with this upside down element. I'm not sure why we have indoor horses, but I got to kill one. That makes me happy. Hmm. Anybody know what I would do here? I would float. Ah, uh, yeah, I get it. This is going to be interesting. Oh, look! It sucked her in. This is kind of cool, but I think I sabotaged that. I think I wasn't supposed to touch anything, right? Ooh, Tetris. Tetris! New stuff, every level, very impressed. No, 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 I had that! Don't start me at the be Start me at the beginning. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a day. So that is the first, what? First six day, oh, what's that key thing right there? No, 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 we need to, uh, we need to get to that key. You know we do.
can't see. <laughs> I'm playing kind of blind here, uh, ish. Darn it. All right, here comes Tetris. I suppose it's the same blocks every time, so you can just kind of get your movements worked out and move along, but there's just not a lot of room for hesitation. You need to make your move and, and be... Did you see her head, like, smushed down like that? Yeah, I'm not playing this over again, so we're done with that. Uh, this is Gummy Clive 2, much better than Gummy Clive 1. Um, much like 1, it became incredibly hard at one point and frustrated the crap out of me, and I don't want to continue. But if you're casually playing this game, I don't see any reason why you couldn't. So check it out. Bye.